real nigga, I'm the real nigga. 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 Hey guys. You should never date women with unrealistic and unreasonable expectations. A lot of you guys are dealing with women, your girlfriends and wives that had unreasonable expectations and it's bringing you stress. No matter what you do, it's just not, not enough. She always got something to complain about. It's stressing you out. You work hard. You're a good guy. You know, you're not perfect. None of us are perfect. But overall, you have a good heart. So, you know, you shouldn't be going through what you're going through. You know, she's she, she know you're a good guy. She know you... You're trying to make her happy, and that's the problem. You're trying to make her happy. You can't make a woman happy. She have to be happy for who you are and try to help you. But you, you're trying to please her. She's just going to try to control you and keep letting you know you're not doing enough just to keep you on your toes. Um, this type of woman is really, really a headache. So be careful about them type of woman that's unrealistic, under all these, got, got all these rules, and, oh, I can't use a restroom that don't have that don't have this, that don't have that. I can't go to a restaurant that don't, that don't have golden doors. I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't. It's too much, she just can't do this, can't do that. So, it's just crazy, man. Um, only thing I can say is, man, be careful who y'all are dealing with out there. Because, uh, you know, you, it's ridiculous, you know? It's just ridiculous. The fact that, you know, a lot of y'all good guys out there are getting nervous breakdowns, you're getting stressed out, you're getting, you're going bald, you're getting all this unnecessary gray hair. Stress kills you. Stress is a sin, you know. If you're dealing with a woman that's stressing you out, I don't care how good she look, how, how, how fat that behind is, or how good her, how good her um, goldfish mouth is, it don't matter. Don't stress yourself out like that, man. It's it's good girls out here. It's more good girls. I mean, it's good it's good girls out here. You know what I'm saying? It's more women out here than men. So, any anybody you good guys out there, if you're unappreciated, just hold on. You're gonna meet somebody that look decent, that somebody you're attracted to, that's gonna appreciate you for who you are. Because. The women who ain't appreciate you, they only gonna hurt themselves. I don't care how good they look. The way you treat people, it's gonna come back on you. And um, the way you treat people is gonna come back on you. It's definitely gonna come back on you. So, you know, it'll catch back up with them. They're not gonna look good and young forever. Some of them gonna last for a long time, but something on them gonna be like, a dude might be like, the dude that they interested in, he might be like, I'll smash, but after I smash, I'm going to keep it moving, moving. I ain't going to stick around. And <clears throat> she's going to keep chasing guys away or even good guys or even dumb guys because her problem is inside, her mindset. So she's going to bring that mindset to every guy she dates. She going to think it's the guys, but all along, it's her. It's not the guys. I mean, you got some guys out here that's, you know, that's lost and, or corrupt or whatever, but for the most part, a lot of women got, a lot of this type of women got unrealistic, unreasonable expectations. Everything you do right, she going to find out two things that you've done wrong. I said everything, everything you've done right. She gonna find two things that you done wrong, so you're gonna be running backwards. <laughs> you're gonna be turning gold to silver. She gonna be turning gold to silver. You don't want a woman that's gonna turn gold to silver. You want a woman that's gonna appreciate you, honor you, take away your stress, not give you stress, brother. I don't care how good she love her. Tell her no. Reading that nation, our our favorite word is no. I don't care if you look good. I don't care if you you suck a hand bone out of holes. I don't care. I don't really care. Only thing I care about is if you're gonna cooperate and give me a peace of mind and appreciate. Appreciate, cooperate, and a peace of mind. Woo! I like that. 
I got to get a shirt that say appreciation, cooperation, and a peace of mind. Appreciation, cooperation, and a peace of mind. That's that right there. That's what we want from women. That's what Reagan and Nation want from women. Appreciation, cooperation, and a peace of mind. And then we can be able to do what we need to do for them and for us, for our God and everything else. But the devil don't want them to, to give us a peace of mind. The devil don't want them to cooperate. And the devil don't want them to appreciate. So, that's the deal. Hey, much love to y'all. Uh, Rigging in Nation, much love to you. You know what I'm saying? Get your T-shirts on deck if you like. 50 bucks, at, send your address and stuff to the uh, Instagram. My Instagram link is in the description box if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Let me know how much time you want. Um, must have PayPal or Cash App. I don't do Zelly. Hey, much love to you. Uh, all newcomers, are welcome to Reading That Nation. Uh, press like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell be notified for the next videos. Or Patreon members, uh, shout out to the Patreon members. Uh, it's a way to support the channel, support Reading That Nation, and see video clips of me that you wouldn't see on here. Um, much love to all y'all, and uh, stay prayed up, stay hydrated, drink water, get your sleep, laugh a lot, hang around people that make you laugh a lot, and people that like to talk to you. Those are genuine people. A person you can laugh hard with, and they can talk to you about anything, and they like being around you, even, you know, just for you, not for your money, and or anything else superficial. Then you got a genuine friend, or should I say a family member? Because in life, everybody supposed to be family. Friend is a weak word. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Download my songs in the description box. Check out the books, the songs, the albums. Check out all the links in the description box. The description box is your friend. But first of all, all y'all are supposed to be following me on an Instagram link that's in the description box now. Don't hesitate. Much love, reading the nation. Feel free to share these videos wherever you want. TikTok, Instagram, your Facebook, it don't matter. Much love to you. I'll see y'all soon. Hey, Pookie, I'm Ray Ray. Hey, Pookie, I'm Ray Ray.